Hi. So if you're making a hot section on a buffet, a challenge is always with the soups. You need the proper soup kettle for them. So that's why I want to show you a soup kettle from Royal Catering. As you can see, it has a very nice, cool stainless steel polish. Um, also, a couple of features. Let me go through technical details first. It works with electricity, obviously. Uh, so all you need to make it work is just plug it in. And you know, all you need is a normal wall socket. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it, there's no special installation needed. Uh, it works with 400 watts, so it is quite powerful, but you have to remember this device is not for cooking. It's merely for keeping the temperature of the dish. Uh, so you shouldn't be warming it, uh, anything up in it. Uh, everything that you put inside should already be warm at the right temperature. Uh, it should be thermalized, as we call it. All right, so it has a 10 liter capacity. Uh, Cool feature with the lid, you can, when you open it, you can hard sort of partially open it and hinge it upwards so all the condensation that happens will drip back down into the soup containers. Uh, so there's no need for uh, taking the lid off when you're uh, serving yourself a soup. Um, all right, uh, you can easily disassemble the whole thing for cleaning and ref refilling. And you do that by just lifting the soup container out of the collar, just like that. So this will release the lid. Then you can take the soup container out and it is all held by the collar. And when you take everything off, this will give, give you the uh, access to the bamery chamber where the water should be in. Of course, it's all aluminum for good heat distribution. And inside you'll see on the wall, there's a marking on how much water should be inside. So the water level should be checked regularly because even though the soup container produces a nice seal, uh, you will still get some evaporation going because there's no, uh, it's no rubberized or anything. So uh, you need to watch the water level um, because the water is what actually gives the temperature to your dish. Uh, besides, if there's no water, uh, the device will overheat and will trip the safety, safety and will turn uh, itself off. Then, then you have to wait for it to chill down, you have to unplug it and this, this will take time. So uh, always check the water level. How often you need to do that? Well, at least once an hour it's good to check and refill. Um, it doesn't take long but uh, it definitely uh, well, will save your device and save you some uh, time um, for unplugging, chilling and so on. Uh, talking about temperatures, um, uh, the temperature regulation is up front, so you can regulate it between 35 up to 80 degrees, but as I mentioned, uh, the 80 degrees is basically for the initial heating period, just to make sure that everything is on the right temperature but you probably end up uh, using somewhere between 50 and 70 degrees just to keep the food in, uh, well, outside of the danger zone, in the safe zone. All right, so let me just sh show you quickly an example. I uh, already have a soup kettle going, so uh, I'll show you how it all works. So as you can see, the lid has a notch for the ladle. Then you open it up. The condensation will drip back down into the pot, which is cool. So you can put yourself a soup. I have some beautiful tom cream of tomato here, just like that. Bit of garnish, some basil leaf, there you go. And that's how easy it is. So if you like the device, just go on the website, have a look, uh, check out all the details about it and all uh, other devices of, from that range. I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.